Welcome to another Pixel Game Maker tutorial. In today's video, we'll cover how to set up swimming in your side view projects. While there are a few methods that can be used to accomplish this, I'll be showing an example by using tile area detection and we'll be basing all actions out of one player object. So let's get started. First, let's set up the tiles and scene. We need at least three sets of tiles to make this work. One will be a top layer of water and will contain our area detection of five. A second water tile will fill everywhere else the player can swim. And the third one is a blank tile with a upward wall detection. This will prevent the player from swimming out of water during normal movement. Now let's take a look at this on scene. I gave the top layer of water the area detection tiles. I filled in the rest with the normal water tile. And then I placed the upward wall detection above the top layer of water. With the tiles and scene complete, let's move on to our player object. With this method of swimming, I needed to make a few adjustments to the player object. I needed to go to the movement setting and add the upward and downward movement inputs. I then made sure that vertical movement was the same as horizontal. In the action programs, I needed to make sure that my weight, move, fall, and jump actions had a vertical speed of 0%. This is to prevent any up-down movements during normal actions. I then created shortcuts for any action that could lead to the swim logic. The condition that triggers the swim setup is if the player object is equal to area detection of 5. In other words, is the player overlapping a top layer of water. Since the player will most likely be falling when hitting the area detection 5, we need to reset gravity before we move the player into position. That's what setup 1 action does. It takes away control from the player and makes it not affected by gravity. Now that gravity is reset, we can go to step action 2 and add a move object runtime. This forces the player downward to prevent any wall clipping that can occur. I recommend move at least half of a tile size in the dot count. If you notice wall clipping, you can always increase the dot count. From here, make sure you have a quick duration time set. We want the object to self-move, and last we want to stop object actions during move. This will prevent leaving this action until movement is complete. You can also notice that I gave both setup actions an idle swim animation. After the force move down, the logic unconditionally moves to the swim loop, starting with swim weight. This is where inputs pressed and released will change the animations of the swim accordingly. The last thing we need is the exit plan. This can be triggered from either wait or move. The conditions for the player to enter the exit actions are the player needs to be on an area detection of five. The player also needs to be touching a default tile wall from the upward direction. And lastly, I made it to where the player needs to press the jump key. When the conditions are met, the logic starts the swim exit. Swim exit one gets us out of the tile detection by changing our animation to a jump animation with no wall detection. This was done in the animations tab where I copied and pasted the jump motion and then deleted the wall detection. After changing animations, the logic unconditionally moves to swim exit two. Here we will take away player control and we will force move the object upward a few pixels. This allows us to bypass the tile wall detection before changing back to a normal motion. We could not call move object on swim exit one because the movement will miss the motion change. If you try it, you will understand what I mean. In this upward movement, we are only moving by a few pixels. Again, we need this movement to be quick and with stop objects action during move. Once the move is complete, the player now goes to the jump action, gets wall detection back and performs a jump out of the water. Let's see this in action. I have slowed the game speed down and am showing the tile wall detections during playtest. When the player hits area detection 5, which is the top layer of the water, the player turns into the swim motion and can now swim around freely. If the player tries to exit the water, the tile wall we placed above the top of the water will prevent the movement. However, when the A button is pressed, the player changes to a no wall detection motion, is forced up a few pixels, and then jumps to exit out of the water. And that's it. That is how to implement swimming into your side view projects. 
Again, there's a couple different methods to do this. For instance, if you didn't want to set up and down movement onto your original player object, you could also change the player into a player object with up and down movement itself, and then change back to the original object when exiting the water. Also, if your project is a top-down view, there will be another video shortly covering swimming for it. So please like, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. And with that, I'll see you at the next video.